Hello, this is John Finelli, Vice President of Product and Marketing at DataTorrent. Thank you for joining me today for a demonstration of the DataTorrent DT Ingest application. Big data applications on Hadoop pull data from many different sources. That data can be streaming data, such as events off of a web server, sensor data from IoT connected devices, social media, and even message systems and message queues. The other extreme is to do batch data, and batch data can come from databases as well as files. And of course, as your application is processing data, you may choose to enrich that data with existing data from SQL, NoSQL, uh, uh, relational databases, and data warehouses, or other sources. One of the most common use cases we see is our organizations that start to generate data at regular intervals in the form of files not quite streaming, yet more than batch. In fact, this may be at the end of an ETL chain, or it may be from devices that are generating the data, but only generating files every one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes. So today, the demonstration that I'm gonna show will in fact show us ingesting files at regular intervals, as well as ingesting streaming data from Kafka. Now, let's go take a look at the demo. What you see here is the data torrent uh, DT ingest console is part of DataTorrent uh, RTS and the DT ingest application has two components to it. One which is a system level service called App Data Tracker which provides us with metrics and uh, operational uh, capabilities of, of the application and then of course DT ingest itself. And the way that DT ingest is configured is you uh, click on launch and this allows you to um, set up the application. Um, the application has uh, basically two sets of parameters to configure, um, input and output. So you can see here, you'll select your input type, your output type, and of course, you'll decide if you want to use compression or encryption. And we also have the ability to throttle your bandwidth. So many times um, organizations will do ingestion or ETL not realizing the amount of impact that they'll have upon the entire data center. Um, so for our first demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the ability to uh, ingest flat files. As we talked about, these sometimes come in a repeatable fashion, but they could be an NFS mount. It could be HDFS to HDFS, say, across multiple clusters and multiple data centers. And to do that, I'm going to choose a, uh, a pre-configured um, application, uh, which can be saved off so that as a system administrator, you can create these and then others can, can go ahead and run them. And as you can see here, my input type is HDFS. You can see the input directory. And in fact, as this is a repeatable file, as we talked about uh, a file that's coming at the end of an ETL or, or periodically from an IoT platform, we're going to pull the directory every five seconds to look for new files. Then the data is going to be brought into HDFS, uh, into our, uh, our uh, directory we specified. We're going to specify that if there is a namespace conflict, we're going to overwrite. And um, you know, if we want to compact files, we now can actually pick how we want to do that. And a great use case here is that a file that comes every minute, you may not want to have 60 files every hour written to your HDFS directory. So we can actually compact them, put all one minute files into a single one hour file, and then also we can unwind them or uncompact them uh, upon extraction. Um, and then uh, for sake of demonstration, I'm not going to uh, do compression or encryption. And what I would do now is I would just go ahead and launch the file, uh, the application. Um, for the demo purposes, I have actually already launched the application. You can see here it's an ingestion of HDFS. Um, we are up and running and we're copying files. And you can see that the, the way that the application works uh, in terms of the directed acyclic graph is as we read a file, we split it. And we do this so that we can parallelize and optimize um, the speed and performance uh, for the file ingestion. Of course, being built on Apache Apex, um, all of this is done in a fault tolerant manner. So the file is split, the blocks are read and, uh, are read and written, um, we do synchronization, and we uh, recombine the file. As I mentioned, there's a system service called Tracker. And what Tracker does is it allows us to, to look at the, app the application 
track what metrics are being uh, captured and throw off any alerts. And that actually is shown through the visualization aspect of DT ingest. Um, again, this is a core component of DataTorrent RTS Enterprise where these uh, uh, dashboards are created using pre-built widgets um, that you can visualize and customize yourself and, and create many more dashboards. And you can see here, uh, so far we've ingested 384 files and there's about 31 remaining. And we have the flexibility to show the files uh, in different formats. So here's a pie chart, here's a bar chart, in fact here's a table. Additionally, we can look at the same data based on file counts and then looking at bytes that are both uh, read and written. And then finally, you can actually um, see the, the transfer of the files both from input and output, the size of the files, what kind of compression is being described. And as we build this out, you'll see that you'll have compression and encryption time. Uh, if you recall, I did not configure this uh, to be compressed and encrypted. And so this is DT ingest doing um, uh, repeatable files ingested into Hadoop. Uh, as you can see, we've got more files coming. Now we're at 60 because the system is automatically generating new files as we pull down, for example, IoT data. Now, another, of course, uh, interesting use case, if I go back to uh, the configuration, and let's say I want to now look at streaming data, right? which of course is one of the key things that, that DataTor and RTS is used for. And one of the key uh, technologies is to use Kafka. So once again, it's very simple to configure your input and output types. Um, the input type is Kafka. I describe the topic name and the zookeeper that I'm using. And then I can choose, do I want to go back all the way to the beginning of this uh, topic? Um, which I would do maybe the first time that I created or ran the application, or do I just want to take the latest, um, so the most current messages that are coming from Kafka. And then, of course, because this is ingestion, the output source is actually HDFS. I know sometimes that might sound confusing, that, but again, if you're outputting to HDFS, you're actually doing ingestion. If you're inputting from HDFS, generally, you're doing extraction. Um, and uh, so once again, uh, I'm not going to launch this application because uh, I want to do this very quickly for the demo. But uh, the Kafka ingestion is a very simple application. Um, given the nature of Kafka and, and the way thing, that things stream uh, in Apache Apex and DataTorrent RTS, it's a very simple directed acyclic graph. We have an input operator that is reading from Kafka, and we have an output operator that's writing into HDFS. Um, and it looks like right now um, there's nothing in our Kafka queue. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some more data into Kafka. Uh, I'm just running a simple script uh, that will start filling the Kafka queues by simulating a producer. And if I go back here now, you can see Kafka, of course, is up and running. You can see the number of events that are being processed and emitted. And of course, just like uh, bringing in flat files, we also have the ability to provide a dashboard that shows you your Kafka ingestion and your real-time streaming ingestion. So uh, you can see there was a time here where Kafka uh, didn't have anything in the queue, and so it went down. And you can see that just a few seconds ago when I started my scripts, that uh, the, the dashboard uh, was showing the ingestion that's occurring. And in this case, you, we're doing input bytes per second, um, we're doing output bytes per second, and we're also tracking the number of messages. And again, I can continue to uh, crank up the number of Kafka messages by running my scripts, and you'll see that this continues to run, and uh, the number of, of messages that are processed and emitted. So um, again, from a data torrent perspective, this has been DT ingest uh, using uh, two components, our app data tracker system service, and a DT ingest application. And what we have shown you here is how we have taken data that's come in at regular intervals um, and uh, ingested that into Hadoop, and then also streaming data that's been ingested via Kafka. If you'd like to learn more about DT ingest, please email us at info at datatorrent.com or download DT ingest or datatorrent RTS at www 
That's datatorrent.com slash download.